what's going on everybody it's our Mike and today we are taking a look at the revamped Google Play Music on Android Wear 2.0 as you can see Andy our Android here is having trouble trying to hold up this heavy LG watch Urbane let's go ahead and relieve him of his duty oops okay maybe that's a little easier for you to read so with Android Wear 2.0, there are some revamped apps that are available for your Android Wear device. Whether it is an older Android Wear device or you are rocking one of the new ones, such as the LG Watch Sport or the LG Watch Style, you can use these new applications that have been created. Now, if you're somebody that's big into listening to music, such as myself, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure with your new watch face on Android Wear 2.0 that you have your complications allowed and that means you can add or change any of your shortcuts that would appear on your watch face. So as you can see I have put Google Play Music here in the left section. Go ahead and wake the watch once more. We'll tap on that and that launches us into Google Play Music. As you had seen, my watch was trying to connect, and that is because when you open the application, it will tr automatically default to using Wi-Fi. So the watch has to have and know a Wi-Fi access point to be able to get you into your recommended, recent activity, music for fitness, or your My Library section. So first thing you want to do is pull down your notification, or it would be your little three-button overflow action. Pull that down, it says Google Play Music, scroll over once to Settings, select that, and right off the bat, first thing you will see, depending on your watch, if your watch has Wi-Fi only, it'll pop up showing Download Only on Wi-Fi. Uncheck that, so that way you can get your music or copy things from one thing to another over Bluetooth. And as it shows here, Stream Only on Wi-Fi, which that is not checkmarked nor is download only. So again, your Google Play Music settings will vary depending on your watch's connections inside hardware limitation wise, such as if it has LTE, Bluetooth, and or Wi-Fi. Once you have gone through your settings and how you want to connect, then you can start going through your music. And this is how you would select your music without pulling your phone out. Like it shows your most recent activity, which is what we'll choose. It will load up stations you've listened to. It'll load up tracks, either single songs or whole albums that you have listened to last. And this is where it comes in handy if you have an Android Wear, one of the newer ones with an actual rotating dial. That way you're not smudging up your screen. Say we were to select Gorillas Humans. Watch does not have a speaker, so to hear music, connect wireless audio device, so view on device. From there, we can choose what Bluetooth device we want to use if we were to play this music directly through our watch and not use our phone. Now, for how your Google Play Music will look, if you are to be playing something off of your phone, let's go on ahead and look and see if we can do so. I'm going to go to my library, playlist, radio, artist, albums. Actually, let's go back to recent. One thing I was listening to recently was. Oh, it's not listed on here. Okay. The way your music will look if you are using your phone would be you open up your phone, play a track on here, and if we were to hit play, you can't hear it playing right now because I have it connected to a pair of headphones, but this is how your music playback looks when you're using Google Play Music on your watch through your phone. And as you can see here, it is all blacked out right now. It is just black and white because the watch thinks it is uh, rotated away from my wrist. 
and if we were to wake the watch, we would get our album art, the track we're listening to, the band, our play and pause control, and then our track forward and back. If you want more options, tap once, and then from there you can now see you have your forward and back, volume, up and down, pause and play, and then your three button action overflow. If you pull down, you get your album art. Scroll back down, we get our controls, and the track we're listening to, and if we want to move forward through other tracks in the album, it is all listed right here on your watch. So you don't even need to pull your phone out. And this works for listening to music on your phone using either Bluetooth or headphones. Okay, so next up I'm going to shut down my phone that my watch is connected to. We will turn the power off. Are we sure we want power down? Yes. Shut that down. And now the watch will be running off Wi-Fi only, which that'll pop up here in a minute. Give my phone a second to power off. And now that it's powered off, we'll pull down notification. And we just see our battery life, all our settings. Let's try it again. Maybe third time's a charm. There we go. Now it recognizes that we are not connected to the phone. And we should have Wi-Fi pop on. So let's double check and make sure that's going to kick on like it should. Go under settings. We're going to connectivity. From there, Wi-Fi, automatic, last used. Go to save networks. Listing of all the networks that this has been on. And yes, we are connected on Wi-Fi. So now we're going to hook up my um, Jaybirds, my X2s, and we will see if that will allow us to play music right from the watch. All right, so we're ready to connect my Jaybird X2s to my LG Watch Urbane, now that it is updated to Android Wear 2.0. So since we want to listen to music just with the headphones, and this comes in handy for when you go to the gym, you don't want to carry your phone on you, you have a watch that runs Android Wear or Android Wear 2.0. The nice part with the 2.0 is we can go to all the recent music we had listened to, like I showed earlier. And so we want to do Imagine Dragons here. We will need to search for a device. And we'll go to Available Devices. Scan for nearby devices. Oh, I don't want to pair to that one. There's the X2s. Select those. And as you have just seen, hopefully, we are connected now. Shows we are connected to our Jaybirds. So now we can actually start playing our tracks. And now we have Thunder by Imagine Dragons playing on my Jaybird X2s. And as you can see, in the background is the album art. We have our volume controls. And if we want to go back or forward a track. So I actually have our track playing. And for the duration of the track, you don't have the time frame of your zero second mark all the way to when the track ends. You can just see we have this kind of countdown dial or this circular that's rotating showing us as the track goes. And when the screen blacks out, you can now see that we have just the name of the track, the band, and then our pause button. So we'll hit pause. And then we can thumbs up the track. And then we have our volume control. Which you can see we can turn up or down just by scrolling left or right. And then if we want to go back a track or start the track over. And if you want to exit, just swipe away. 
Now if we hit play, that'll play what we had just listened to. But say we want to choose something that's an actual full album. So we'll choose Humans by Gorillaz. As you can see, it is loading it. And if you have an Android Wear device that's the newer ones, like the new LG watches, then this should load much quicker because it is running on the newer processors. Versus here on the Urbane, we are running some older first, I want to say first or second gen hardwares. And we'll launch, switch to the next track. And as you can see here, we're going track by track now. Now if we try to swipe up or down, you can see nothing is happening. If we hit our crown button here, it takes us back home. And we can still see what's going on on our watch face. We can pause our music right from here. Play again. Go into our app drawer. And if we're to black out, we'll see here if it goes to sleep. And you can see our watch face is asleep. Wake it up. Play. And even if you want to see your music playing again, just pull up from the bottom. You can go right to what you got playing here. You can see we're on Wi-Fi only. No phone attached. So that will be it for our look at the Google Play Music app that is built for your Android Wear device. Um, and you have to be running 2.0 for it to look like this, or else you are back to the older version if you are still on the Android Wear 1.5 build. So if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Sorry I could not play the music for you guys coming out of the speakers or for you to hear. I just don't want to get any copyright issues. Have a great night.